Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to install and set up DevRaw's traps. So the first thing we're going to do is download the traps pack from DevRaw. After downloading the pack, let's open up traps. And then we're going to drag in every single folder except for user maps open me into our Black Ops 3 root. Once completed, we're going to open up user maps folder, your map name. We're going to do the same thing for our root, user maps your map name and then we're going to drag in the scripts folder from the traps pack into our map folder lastly let's go back and open up the instructions to see what we have to do so the first thing we have to do is go to our map folder go to scripts zm and we're going to open up our map name gsc and csc files we're going to take these usings from step three and add these to our gsc so we're going to do in our gsc is find where it says using scripts ZM trap electric. We're going to select all of this and just paste over it to put in our new usings. Next, we're going to add in these usings into our CSC. Again, we're going to find the using for ZM trap electric and we're going to paste over it. Next, let's open up our map zone file. To do that, go into launcher, find your map name right click and edit zone file we're going to take this include from step four copy it and paste it underneath where we put all of our includes from a previous tutorial and lastly in step five we're going to take this sound function and open up our map sound file and paste it in so you could find that in your map folder sound zone config and your map name will be here let's go to the bottom where we have our curly bracket and comma create a new line and paste in the sound function that's that for scripting side, let's go into Radiant. Now that we're in Radiant, let's go to our prefab browser, come to the top, right click, find prefab browser and click on it. Then we're going to open up ZM, Arabo 21 prefabs, and traps. Now you'll notice that it says trap A, B, C, all the way down to J. Just like in the mystery boxes in our previous tutorial, you can only have one trap per letter. So, if you have multiple traps, you'll have to do trap A, then trap B, C, D, all the way to J. To give a quick example of what this means, we have here our first trap. This is trap A, electric. Our second trap is trap B, fire. And then our third trap is trap C, turret. Obviously, you could do whichever trap you want. Just make sure to go in alphabetical order. If you have two of the same letter, you will get errors and the traps will not work. If you wish to edit the locations of the power boxes or the trap itself, you can go ahead, select your trap, and then right click and enter prefab. Make sure to unhide any triggers or geometry. Then in your 2D view, you can come over to your switch and drag it around to wherever you like. And that's pretty much it for traps. Let's go in game and see what it looks like. So here we are in game. If we come up to our switch, it will say you must turn on the power first. And that is true for all three of our traps. Let's go turn on the power and test out these traps. So we have some zombies coming. If we were to turn on the trap. It works. And the same can be said for all of our other traps. And that's it. Alright, that's going to be it for this tutorial. If you found anything useful and I was able to help you today, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Thanks for watching and have a good one.